get this roof waterproofed, you have to spray a waterproofing spray on it. But before we do this, we have to clean it. We use the Alcantara and textile cleaner from Colorlock, of course. We spray it on, massage with a sponge in, heavy stains we remove with the brush. And next step you will see. Put the trigger on the bottle, shake it a little bit, switch from off to on, of course, and then just spray on the roof. Five hundred mil, half a liter. Um, spray everything over it. We used so a little bit like this, so 150, 100, 150 mil. And um, next step is massage in with a sponge. Heavy stains from a bird, for example, remove with a brush. With a sponge, massage everything inside. Heavy stains we remove with a, with a brush. Also here where the water can rinse, um, we use the brush to get it very clean here inside. Now we wait five to 10 minutes. Mostly I wait five minutes and then we just clean it with clear water. Spray so long water or clean the roof so long that you don't have any foam on it so that you are sure that no cleaner is anymore in the textile of the roof. Then let it dry. I take some microfibers, Eagle from the rack company in this case, to dry it a little bit and then just wait. Textile of the roof is dry now. Now it's time to use a waterproofing spray. I use a masking tape here to mask a little bit the area in the front and the rest I will use with this paper here. And um, shake it very well. And then start with sections. So don't try to do everything. Just do the half area here. Put first this line, this line, this line, or this here where the stitches is. I will start with this area where the stitches is. One, two layers is fine. It needs a good amount, but of course not too much. You find a good balance. 20, 30 centimeters. Distance. And then spray section for section. It's normal that you have in the first, second, a gray shadow on the surface that will dry out and then it looks fine. When you get a drop on your metal area here, then just wipe it. Also here that works with the paper very well. And if something comes on the glass or on the metal, then you just can polish off. Mm. 
waterproofing spray. Let them dry. It's dry now. You can heat it also with a heat gun or you can dry it with a heat gun or with a blower or just put it outside of the sun. It's helpful. The waterproofing effect is a bit more than. And how good it is. Yeah, look at this. <laughs>